one thing that happened with microservices was a bit of a brush fire of adoption when people started to use them and talk about them and advocate that style architecture because it seemed to solve a need that so many organizations had or thought they had. Turns out you can make a big ball of mess with microservices just like you can with a monolith. That being said, I'm curious if there are other teams, organizations, maybe bigger or smaller than the teams you've been working with that are adopting micro front ends or at least testing the waters. Yeah, in the last years, um, I could see a lot of um, adoption of companies coming out and saying, okay, we also did this uh, for a long time and uh, we, we also didn't call it micro front ends, but um, this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. So companies like Ikea, or I mentioned Zalando before, which is big German um, e-commerce player. They also did it way before the micro front ends um, term was a thing, uh, Spotify. The sports streaming service, The Zone, also uses this technique and promotes it strongly. And, but also large players like SAP. So the enterprise company, they published in, in October, I guess, published a tool to do uh, micro front ends integration. <laughs> 